art and design in school and college they will give you a subject then once you've been given that subject you are then well, you have to research it so you make say the subject is sky so you make a spider diagram you put sky in the middle and then you have your legs coming off and you put stuff that's in the sky like clouds the sun the moon the stars birds planes everything that is generally related to the sky then you move on from that piece of work and then you look at look at the subjects that are involved with sky so you could draw some clouds or you could paint some clouds in different methods using watercolors or acrylics or a, or a, what's the cut and pasty one uh, collage and stuff like that then once you've done that research you could look at uh, look at look into other people that have focused on the sky and look at their bits of work and then I wouldn't say copy but make your own interpretation of what they have done and then you continue on eh? you're building up to your final piece that is to represent the subject the sky now we did this in college we did this in depth in college a lot more than we did in school the final exam and some coursework was layered this way in college we were given four projects I think it was and we did this over the term and this is how you formulate an idea to make a piece of art your final piece the same goes with YouTube I will make well lately because well let's start from the bottom when I first started YouTube I put airsoft videos up and it was my hobby well, it still is my hobby it was about my hobby and that's what it was there are videos about my hobby now I'll still do airsoft videos but they're few and far between and they're just videos of what the hobby is items that I have acquired for the hobby video is not my medium I'll get better at it but it is not my first choice of medium it was paper pen paint paper brush glue sticking stuff on that was my medium I decided later on this is this is later on later on I decided to give making videos a go I did not respect the medium I'd make a Viet Cong video and I'd just throw it up there Viet Cong multiplayer part 0029 or whatever let's look at it this way I've made a spider diagram and them Viet Cong videos are the first bits of leg coming off that spider diagram one of the first subject and like the little subject is YouTube so I've given that a go and that is the first part of the research that you do leading up to the the bit of artwork that you want the main piece of artwork that you want to do if you there's a video called the touch and it's the first kind of video that I did proper oh, I wouldn't say proper editing but I, I took editing seriously it was it was fun to do but the editing is shit because I didn't know what I was doing I was given a, it was my first attempt like proper attempt with music and stuff in the background and yeah you know, I'm happy with the product I'm thinking about doing a George Lucas in there making it better sort of thing but that is another like the same template for with art design is that is what I tried it's the what's the word I'm looking for the um, the piece of art or the, the, the piece of work that is similar to someone else's I tried that the, the second part to that is 
I think it's called Titans or Mr. Foxhound's Revenge I, I can't remember I, I'll have to put the links in the description but the second part I think I've done a better job at cutting the clips together than I did on the first part now that shows that I'm getting better at cutting clips it doesn't say the, it, it shows my ability on how the process works it shows I'm getting better or, or not better it shows that I'm learning the technique so like we go back to the art thing I'd do a collage and I'd cut random shapes out and you put it down and it's a piece of shit well it's not a piece of shit it's it's your first attempt now your second attempt at that collage will be better if you if you think about it more if you pay more attention to it if you, you think it through more you did. The, same, the same goes for the YouTube channel my first attempt my, my gained respect for putting videos up has come through in the videos that I'm making the first, I'd say the first 200 videos maybe depending on, depending on what they are some of the videos are this is the game, this is me playing and that's how, I, that's how I want it it's not this is the game, this is the views that I'll get from you know, it's I enjoy this game, I'm going to play this game I want people to see me playing this game I want people to talk about me playing this game that's what's so good about YouTube with a piece of art, you do it and that's, that's, that's your interpretation of your creativity of what you're doing whereas YouTube is more look at this game look how good this game is let's, let's play together let's talk about this game because I'm enthusiastic about it I, I enjoy playing this game I enjoy playing with people with this game we'll take we'll take World of Tanks as an example I recorded when I just after I started playing first and then kept recording and if you look you'll see the progression of how I play from shit to noob to kind of understanding but not putting that putting the think before you do and then doing it correctly and playing as an effective member of a team then the videos that I'm making are my experience of this is how I play this is what I look at when I play I want to talk about these subjects about this game using this gameplay now I wouldn't call them let's plays I'd call them just just watch and I've only done I've done two of them I've done I'm doing Darkest of Days and Alien vs Predator 2 now I started putting AVP 2 up because Colonial Marines was shit no one liked it and I wanted to show people I want to remind people of how good like that game series was and it does an injustice of me talking over the gameplay it gets rid of the atmosphere now if you watch one or two parts of that you know that's fine but if you go away and say oh I want to play that game and then you go out and buy that game you know it's mission accomplished you've seen it you want to experience it yourself now Darkest Day is a little bit different because that come out only on Xbox it never come out in Europe so only come out on PC in Europe so we in Europe we missed out on that game we didn't get much footage and I want to share that gameplay experience with everyone it's an alright game I mean there's some impressive moments in it. the amount of people on screen is crazy but I wanted to share that experience and me talking over it there's no need for me to talk over it because it, it does the injustice of showing you what that is what, what the gameplay is like getting back getting back to this to the spider diagram if we look now I've started to put my voice and my points and my opinion over videos or talking about subjects within videos now that is the the natural progression from I'm putting videos up and look at this video to me talking and sharing my opinion 
the same with the art thing I'm taking what I've learned and I'm building up to the main piece of artwork I'm transitioning from the spider diagram to a picture that is a subject on that spider diagram I'm improving I'm, I'm learning I'm taking in I'm giving out education well not education I'm giving out my opinion and what and maybe you learn so I don't know but that's what I'm doing that's the natural progression it really it really annoys it gets that that feeling inside your chest where it just keeps pissing you off you know you have to say something about it but it really annoys me when people say oh I just want to get known on YouTube known for fucking what you're not going to get fat there's this entitlement and fucking what's the word famous people that are looking to get famous and they're, they're delusional as hell and they make videos and they think they're fucking hot shit they get a thousand followers or whatever and they think they're uh, uh, who's a, a famous celebrity at the moment they think they're one of the famous celebrities at the moment that that everyone knows and then as soon as they come off the internet they're fucking random they're fucking nobody yeah people walk past them they don't even give a fuck who they are they don't care that's not what I'm here for I'm here to keep the work like the creativity going I've just transitioned from pen and paper and paintbrush to fucking video form which I'm learning to do it's enjoyable it's a challenge this is what's getting me the most it's a challenge I really am a good fucking shot today. Oh, good yeah. shot, guys. Good shot.